Good evening, YouTube fans. Garfield signing on. Well, for the past month and a half, um, I've done some changes to my solar uh, project. If you could recall, I had all of those at the back of the house. So for the past, um, I should say, two months, you know, I've been working and getting everything over. And likewise, um working on my Ford Powerwall system over there. So, yeah, I've been working with these batteries now for the past month and a half. They are uh, lithium iron um, um, batteries from Ford. In total, I have um, 38 kilowatts of lithium iron storage sitting right there. So that's my Ford Powerwall. So as you could see how I did the whole uh, connection and each pack is five packs up there and each pack is wired at 25.2 volts. As you could see. And that's how I made my connection. I'm running um, um, 10 gauge wires across there coming down into zero gauge wires and those big black wires, big and red black wires. So that's how you see it goes down. And there it is, comes in to my distribution panel, our box underneath here. And each battery pack is sitting on its own breaker. So in here, each one of them is sitting on a 100 amp breaker. Goes through. That's my little meter. And comes back through my uh, battery. Cut off the main 200 amp uh, breaker. Both positive and negative. It's on a breaker right here. And uh, this is a cover for this. So when I'm done, this goes right here. And that's the meter that goes in here. So yeah, I've been uh, playing with the system now for the past month and a half. This battery system here. And um, all of this, I'm sure some of you could remember this inverter here. So I still have it. So there it is. So I have two inverters right now. This is a 4,000 watts my first inverter and my aims here so the entire house excluding my ac my washing machine and my dryer but everything else is on battery only at night not, not during the daytime so half of the house is running on this and half is running on this and that's the system and as you all know about the aura it runs the house during the daytime. So, and same thing within there. I gotta say, thumbs up to Flexmax, uh, to Outback Charge Controller or Outback people, because doing my whole process of switching everything around here and experimenting with those batteries up there, guys, you know what happened to me? I blew up my Flexmax 80, blew the shit out of it four and a half years i opened it up and i couldn't see what's wrong with it anyway i did order some parts for it saying that i'm gonna fix it and i said you know what out of the blue let me call out back and see if it's still on a warranty and i called a gentleman up after four and a half four and a half years i explained to him what happened and he said unfortunately guess what guy yes it is still on a warranty no problem we will send you a new one so Two tons up for Outback. They sent me a new charge controller. And I explained to the guy that I accidentally burnt it up. And I also explained to him that I opened it up. They went into it to see what's going on. I took the board out, but I couldn't see anything. And he said, no problem. We will send you a new one. So they sent me a new Flexmax charge controller, ADM. So thumbs up to Flexmax for that one, or Outback for that one. Um, good people. So I did went up 
on the solar panels. So what I have on this now is 1895 watts of solar panel I have on this charge controller. And I'm sure you guys remember this one, the uh, sunny sky. Um, I have 1340 watts on the sunny sky charge controller. And on my Aura, I have um, 3,200 watts on my Aura um, grid tie. But everything is just still the same. Uh, my very first batteries, they are inside here still. I'm sure y'all remember that. They're still, still here and they're working flawlessly just the same. Um, I did went ahead and added four more batteries to this, believe it or not. So instead of 12, I now have a total of 16. So there it is. Now let me take these things off. Ah. So there it is guys. I have a total of 16 golf cart batteries. So um, I'm sure I'll get pretty long life out of these because I'm not, you know, working these batteries so hard anymore because now, uh, now my system is split into half. So this is my new battery room or my new man cave. The temperature in the battery box is, um, um, that's the temperature inside the room here. And in the battery box is 70, 73 degrees. So this is my new man cave and I rewired everything straight through here. I'm also in the process of um, um, doing some more wiring configuration in my breaker box. So that's what's going on. But let me step back so you guys could check it out. So over there, that's my Ford power wall. That's 30 eight kilowatt hours of Ford lithium ion batteries, 38. And guess what happened? I got it on a deal included this down here. Included this pack here from the Honda. So I went to the junkyard and believe it or not, I got this pack and those in the whole container for two thousand dollars from the junkyard five for the lithium pack the whole battery case that they took from the car i got five of those and the honda you saw outside there for two thousand bucks from the junkyard so yeah people you don't have to really chase the uh, tesla modules you could also use it from the ford the Nissans, you know, any of those hybrid cars. So that's my power wall, my Ford power wall, and it's working uh, great. So like I say, the blue inverter on top here, it's on my uh, Ford power wall and it's running half of the house. Meanwhile, my Ames is running the next half of the house. My battery voltage on those lithium ion right now is, uh, 20, 25.2 volts. And my battery voltage on my Ames inverter right now for the battery is 25.66 volts. So that's my system. Hope you all enjoy my, you know, the new look of my uh, solar system here. So Garfield signing off uh, once again.